uh, 6.15 in the morning on the beach at Old Hun Stanton. Um, going to walk along through the dunes again as we did around about this time last year. Um, the problem last year was I had quite a few technical problems uh, with the audio so I've always wanted to come back and do it properly without the technical issues so uh, it's a good excuse so uh, yeah expecting a pretty good uh, trip as it was last year uh, pick up the same sort of things as last year we find some more and that's a bonus but uh, yeah looking forward to this one should be good walking alongside the golf course which I recall last year uh, is where the first orchids that I came across on this walk were lurking. I can see uh, I can see what looks like southern marsh orchids dotted around. So I'm going to jump over the fence and have a look. Certainly many dozens of southern marsh orchid around me now, as expected. Well that's an absolute belter to land on early doors. That's the white form of the southern marsh orchid and I've never seen one of these before. Really, really nice. That's a first. And that's a second one. Not as good as the first, but yeah, great to see. A few pyramidal orchids here as well, also coming out early. I don't remember seeing these last time we came here. Well, there's a third white southern marsh orchid. Impressive. Those pyramidal, pyramidal orchids are almost fully out, which is ridiculous for this stage in June. This is about a month ahead of where it should be. Well, I've had to do a 35 minute or so slog along the path to reach this sort of orchid hotspot I remember from last time and this uh, wonderful plant which was my big target last year. Uh, this is the early marsh orchid uh, cochinia form. Uh, ironically the locals around here see these as common uh, and they see the one, the, the early marsh orchid that we see in Peterborough as the rarity which is the incarnata form, the sort of pinky flesh coloured one. But you know what, I'd do a trade any day for these. I think these are fantastic. Can't get away from these things, that's a uh, Grandis hybrid. No spots on the leaves, way too much happening on the flowers. That's a common spotted southern marsh hybrid. Uh, sometimes when you get home and you can watch your footage with a mug of tea in hand uh, and zoom in on some of your pictures as well, 
uh, you can see things you don't see out in the field and, and this one immediately leapt out the screen and uh, hit me as being very similar to the to the hybrid we saw at Castor the other the other evening uh, those drop down sacks on the flowers early marsh orchid uh, the, the only difference really between uh, the two as you can see in the pictures uh, over to the side there is that, that there are markings outside of the sacks on the one we saw today um, which which complicates things somewhat uh, general consensus of opinion which I tend to agree with is it was it probably started off as common spotted orchid uh, cross early marsh orchid like the castor flower is um, but this one has then subsequently crossed with southern marsh orchid as well so it's a three-way hybrid can't prove it but that seems to be the general consensus of opinion um, amongst other orchid fanatics I'm, I'm happy to go along with that one nice little family group of common spotted no doubt about these look at those spots fantastic Another nice little group of common spotted. Uh, this was really a, a quite a big hot spot last year when we came because there were several small ponds here surrounded with bee orchids and all sorts and uh, as you can see no ponds it's all dried up so the drought is even having an effect here by the sea uh, there's still some good plants around i'm sure i'm gonna have a look you can never get enough of these as you'll remember from last season. I don't know if these show up too well on the camera, but uh, this little patch is absolutely pebble dashed with uh, the cochinia early marsh orchid. There must be about 30 of them here. All very young plants, but uh, absolutely loads of them all around me lovely sight it's the first of a uh, what we in Peterborough know as the early marsh orchid, the incarnata form. It's the only one I've seen so far. Locals would consider this highly sought after. I think they call that a swarm. A swarm of southern marsh orchids. What a great sight. couple of real clonkers of southern marsh orchids, really big ones. Not seen too many pale forms of southern marsh. This is a nice one. There are literally, literally hundreds of these cochinia early marsh orchid. All quite small, but 
hundreds, 500, 600, you know, there are loads of them here. If you ever do the uh, coastal path here looking for orchids, um, we're kind of on the path now in front of us. Uh, on the sea side of it, which is that side, it's salt marsh. And although it looks encouraging for orchids, they won't grow in there. Uh, there's absolutely no orchids to be seen that side. But uh, the crazy thing is you've only got to swing to the other side of the path, what looks like an identical terrain. Uh, and this is freshwater marsh. And I can assure you that field down there is awash with orchids. They must be getting on for a thousand, I would say, uh, early marsh orchids. So, uh, yeah, stay away from the sea, basically. Uh, look for these scrapes. I think I know what my orchid of the day is going to be, so far as this site is concerned. I think this is the site. This is the visual site. Um, that has impressed me most, this wonderful group of very vibrant southern marsh orchid. You can see this a half a mile away. Well there you go, I've popped back to give it its uh, orchid of the, uh, of the day, of the site visit. Little badge. Uh, white form of southern marsh orchid. Yeah, I've just got, I'm gobsmacked to see this and the other two. Um, and not only have I never seen one before, I've never even seen a picture of one before. It's always been to me one of these mythical orchids that can exist but probably doesn't. Um, so yeah, I, I'm absolutely taken aback. You know, I'd, I'd have driven, I'd have driven all this way just to see this on its own. Uh, absolutely magnificent. There you go, great trip, great trip, lived up to expectations, um, didn't see a bee orchid, common spotted orchids were a bit low in numbers compared to last year, but 1000 plus cock in your early marsh, absolutely brilliant, really, really brilliant, uh, southern marsh, no problem, loads of them, big, um, stout, nothing wrong with those whatsoever, uh, like I say, the bees were missing, dry conditions again, no doubt. Um, White form of Southern Marsh, wow, wow, and wow again. Uh, yeah, what a bonus. I'll trade that for the missing bee orchids. Uh, made the trip absolutely brilliant. Um, orchid of the day so far, one more trip to go, one more visit to go, so that could even be better than the one we've just done. So fingers crossed, uh, see you shortly. I'm going in the sea now. Thank <laughs> you.